Hi everybody and welcome to lesson two in our online match reporting project. I'm Ash Dyer and today we're going to be looking at the structure of a match report. Get your pens and some paper ready and here we go. So you may have picked up a newspaper or gone onto a website to see a match report of your favourite team playing and the result and what happened in the match. What we're going to do in this um, lesson is we're going to look at a match report written in the Cambridge Independent. We're going to stick with the game that we looked at in lesson one, which is Cambridge United versus Colchester United. So if you watched video one and you made your notes based on the video, get them and have them out with you now because it'd be interesting to see how they translate into the match report that's written by the Cambridge Independent. We'll look at the different sections, what they are, and how the match report is structured. And then I wanna give you a challenge to put your own match report together with a similar structure. So let's have a look at the report now. So here you go, we've got the match report here for Cambridge United versus Colchester United. And the first thing we're going to look at is the headline. So a good headline in a match report has to have certain pieces of information in it. And it has to give you a basic idea of who played and what the result was. And it will also include perhaps a key player that had an impact on that game. So if we look at the headline here, it said super subs, Andrew Dallas and Harvey Nibs propel Cambridge United to victory over Colchester United in Skybet League Two. So from this headline, we can see who played, Cambridge and Colchester. We can look and see the result, Cambridge United to victory, and it mentions Andrew Dallas and Harvey Nibs as the key players that were involved. So by looking at that headline, we get a vague idea of what happened in the match, so then we can read on to find out the further detail. The next thing we're going to look at on the match report is the byline. So what the byline is, it's the piece of information that's underneath the headline, which basically shows you who wrote the article. So in this case, it's Mark Taylor, a journalist for the Cambridge Independent, when it was published. So here we've got 1658. So you might be thinking of that. That's actually just a couple of minutes after the game finished. So really, really quick turnaround on getting the match report out and published. But we can look at that a little bit later on the 1st of February 2020, and then it um, shows when it was updated um, later on that day. So every good match report needs a picture. And in this case, it's a picture of Harvey Nibs. So the reason Harvey Nibs is the picture is because he played a key role in the victory for Cambridge United. He scored the winning goal, as you can see from the caption that's just underneath it. So in your match reports, try and capture a picture either of a key moment in the game or maybe a picture of a key player that had an influence on the outcome of the game. The next part of the match report and the introductory paragraph is called the lead. So a little bit like the headline, it provides an overview of what happened in the game, but maybe goes into a little bit more detail. So in this case, it talks about Andrew Dallas and Harvey Nibs guiding Cambridge to a first win in seven games. It gives a little bit of context, as I spoke to you in lesson one, that Cambridge United had been on a poor run of form. And it also mentions about Colin Calderwood, the manager, previously departing. Again, to give a little bit of context about the game before going into detail about the actual events that happened. And then finally, of course, a really important part in the match report is the content. And we will go into this in a lot more detail in later lessons in terms of what content we include and how we can make it really exciting. But obviously, the action needs to be described and it needs to be detailed. We need to know the what's, the why's, the where's, the how's and the who's in terms of the game. And as you can see in here, it starts going to detail. We haven't got the whole match report on this page, but you can go onto the link on the left 
if you wanted to read the whole match report or you can drop me an email and I'll be more than happy to send you that link. So now it's time for the over to you section where as always, I'm gonna be giving you a challenge. I want you to be creative. I want you to come up with some ideas, but I'm gonna give you plenty of choice so that you can put your own match reports together. So take a look at this. So today's over to you challenge is called the Garden Cup Final. So what I want you to do is I want you to challenge somebody in your household to a football match in the garden. And you're going to write a little match report about it after using the structure that we've worked on. If you haven't got a garden or you haven't got someone that you can challenge to a match, then feel free to play a match on your computer consoles or, or on FIFA or something like that. Or you can go and play it in the garden by yourself and you can create your own scenarios or you can just picture a match um, from your imagination. And another option, if you can't do any of those things, is I will put up a video of another Cambridge United match after this, so you can watch that and put it together as a structure if you need to. And then once you've played or created or watched your Garden Cup final or whatever match it is that you're going to be a part of, I would like you to put together a match report structure based on that game. So include your headline, your byline, can you draw a picture or print and stick a picture on, put your lead in and start to put your content together. If you can do that, I would absolutely love it if you could send me a picture um, via email to the email that I'm gonna put in now. And I'd love to share them in future videos or share them out for our social media of your Garden Cup finals. Enjoy that. Okay guys, so that's it for lesson two. I hope you've got a firmer idea of the structure of a match report. In our next lesson, we're going to be looking at a match day program and how that's put together. And make sure you watch that because there's gonna be a huge competition with a pretty awesome prize. So I look forward to seeing you then. Take care, bye.